At the end of March, the Mo Shannon Valley Correctional Center, located just outside of Phillipsburg, was closed after the agency that oversees federal prisons declined an option to renew its contract after 15 years in business. However, after just a short time of the GO-owned complex sitting vacant, it has a new tenant, the U.S. Department of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. The Clearfield County Commissioners expect the facility to bring in 300 jobs initially at half capacity, but it could hire even more people when more inmates are admitted. County Commissioner John Sobel believes that the local area already has the people to run the operation. They indicated that the GEO, former GEO employees, um, of course, would be the best potential uh, employee pool because, number one, they've got the training. Uh, and number two, they've got the, clear, the necessary clearances. And so they, they, of course, make a perfect fit. This would help put nearly 300 laid off workers back to the job. But while that sounds like good news, Gary Josvik, who worked at the prison for nearly 30 years and reached the rank of captain, doesn't think that every worker is roaring to get back to the facility. Some will not go back. And I know, I know through past experience that some of the people, they will not call back because of their past experiences dealing with inmates, so to speak, but these are going to be immigrants, so the whole process is going to change somewhat. Now the only things you can hear are the generators that are running the buildings behind me because the brand new facility is set to open in November. Reporting from the Mo Shannon Valley Correctional Center, I'm Derek Hyde. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you did. For the rest of our newscasts and featured stories, click here. And for sports, click here. Have a great day and thanks for watching.